Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to learn all about heliotropes and how to grow them. They're such a beautiful plant, and they're really easy to grow. Now, the heliotrope, and this variety is arborescence, is from the Peruvian Andes. So to figure out how to grow it in the best conditions, I always consider where the plant comes from and its native conditions. Now the heliotrope is native to the Andes Mountains of Peru. So it's the northern part of South America. And so they can handle a bit of cold temperature, but really not as cold as you would think because um, Peru is not half as cold as Chile. The Chilean plants can get much colder. So the heliotrope can only go down to zone 9. And so in Peru, it's an evergreen. It makes a shrub, and it has these beautiful dark green, hunter green leaves that are velvety with purple little tiny flowers all over it. And it's just a gorgeous plant. And the best part of it is that it smells really good. It smells like cherry pie. So that's a nickname for it. It's called cherry pie. It's such a beautiful plant. Heliotropes want a really moist soil. They don't want to be dried out at all. So, but still they want to have good drainage, so they don't want to sit in water ever. So they like really good fertile soil. Compost is the best. And a good trick with them too is as they bloom and kind of fade off, if you cut them back about halfway in late spring or even into summer and just trim them back here and there, they'll fill out and be much bushier. And so you can start them by seed in the spring or by cuttings if you live in a really warm temperature. But if you live in a zone that's lower than zone 9, then they're an annual. They have to come back every year. You have to start them by seed. If you live in a warmer climate, they make an evergreen shrub. So you can plant them any time of the year, and the fall is the best by division. So you can find them in containers, or you can start them by seed in the spring. But either way, heliotrope is my cherry pie.